you know, the Red Wings, uh, the Red Wings rebuild has taken a lot longer than a lot of us had hoped. Right. But it is on the rise, we believe. They're seven points out of a playoff spot during the all, you know, here we are. And they're the over 500. Break. They are over 500. Um, I'm not, I, I don't want to say that, that Chris Illich has been a bad owner because it's, it's taken it, some time, but I feel like they are good. But, I mean, think about this. Sheila Ford Hamp, if you had to rank the ownership in the city right now, is the number one owner, and it's not by default. It's right. because of the things that she's doing. I would say, looking at it, they're almost tied. And you're, let me start here. You're correct. Sheila Hamp is a little in the lead, and the reason why is because last year they were 313 and one. This year they almost made the playoffs. And then you look at the draft, you look at the structure, like it's in play. It's in place. They are set up right now to expound on nine and eight. So, yes, they're a little bit ahead. But they still haven't made the playoffs. The Red Wings have done some amazing things. You hire Eisman. You got more side of last year. You know, you look at the offseason moves that they made. Like they're setting up to go on a run in a couple of years. And then you look at Troy Weaver. I mean, you look at uh, Gores with the Pistons. Yeah, the Pistons suck. But at the same time, you get a rebuild or you bought in Dwayne Casey for the veterans. You said to hell with that plan. We're going to go young. You got Kay Cunningham last year. This year, you might be in the run to get Victor Wimbanyana. Seems like some of the players, Jalen Dora move was really good. Uh, Jaden Ivey is seeming to figure it out as well. So I say those guys are even. But the good thing is, Ryan, you're right. Sheila Hamp, a little bit ahead. Those other two, I think they're on the same playing level. But the good thing is everybody looks to be what? going that way.